So, generally speaking, it seems that memory abilities are more than individual differences. Since our project is about memory, we choose to mirror the ability of associative short-term memory, which means the ability to link and retrieve two different types of data with each other, like a person's face and his name for a short period. Although it has a fairly limited capacity, it's not an intrinsic property of the brain. It could be enhanced by several techniques, like a chunking and mnemonics. Based on this knowledge, we have formulated our hypothesis. The hypothesis of our experiment is that the pattern of study affects the capacity of the short memory. For instance, study keys like biomedical sciences require the students to memorize a huge amount of information. On the other hand, physics students don't have to memorize anything, not even the equations they use. They only have to understand the physical meaning behind these equations and how to use them for problems. So we assume that biomedical science students have a stronger short-term memory than those of physics because their studies like an exercise uh, for them. And uh, also we assume that this effect is a lasting one because um, it's like carving on a stone and of course we have to put the time to that. Our test consists of two sheets of paper. The first one contains 15 pictures of unknown people with their names written down. The other one contains only the pictures in different order and the participants were asked to write down their names correctly. We put into consideration the gender and the age in our hypothesis and we tried our best to make the environment as quiet as possible and the, the results. For the results, we have split our sample which consists of 36 persons into four groups. Biomedical Sciences TAs, Physics TAs, Biomedical Sciences students, and Physics students. And then, we split the whole sample into females and males to examine whether the gender is an influential factor or not. From the statistical analysis, we figured out that females have a higher mean than males, but the difference is not significant, so gender is not a prime factor. For Biomedical Sciences students, they have a higher mean than their counterparts in Physics department, but the difference is also not significant. Unlike biomedical sciences TAs, who have a dramatically higher mean than the counterparts in physics department, so how this could be justified? This could be justified uh, by stating that the biology TAs uh, contain those who study to excel in biology, while the students contain those who study to excel and those who don't. Uh, and then after we did our experiment, uh, and we recommend that if we are going to do the experiment uh, in the future, we're going to select a bigger sample to, uh, to, to have a better representative sample and we should uh, exclude the academic system factor by selecting students who, ha who have uh, the same GBA. It might seem 